up, Chimmy Squad? Welcome back to our channel! If you guys are new here, I'm Shay. I'm Eunice. Before we start, you guys already know what time it is. Time to give a shout out to the first five commenters that commented hashtag Chimmy Squad on our last mukbang. Thank you so much to Soonsi XXX, BTS X Army Jungkook, Manur Avzal, Alexa PH, MXH Noor. Yay! Thank you guys so much! Comment now if you want a shout out on our next mukbang. Hashtag Chimmy Squad. So today, you guys, we're gonna be eating sushi. Sushi! Oh. This is so amazing because sushi is personally one of our favorite foods. Yeah. But look how beautifully they plated our food. Oh guys. my gosh. Shout out to Kiku Sushi. It's the best sushi ever. It's on Larchmont if you live in LA. And they've been there for, I believe, 10 plus years. Like yeah. forever. Yeah. So that says something. I went there in high school. It's so good. That's like the place to go. You guys, look at the detail. I think they fried the twig with some type of, you know? Yeah, it's like flower crumbs. Yeah, but literally it looks like little plants. It's so cute. It looks so like little cute. flower petals. We're gonna, we're gonna remove this because it's all up in there. Yeah, it's coating my face. So this one is called the Sunset Roll. It has imitation crab, cucumber, avocado, shrimp tempura, and it has tuna and salmon on the top. We got assorted sashimi. This one right here is called Heart Attack. I believe it's deep fried jalapeno stuffed with cream cheese and masago. I love this. You guys have to try this out. I never tried it. I'm so excited. And this one is rock shrimp. It's just shrimp that's deep fried and we got some sauce to cover it all up. And we got miso soup, which is a must. Spicy mayo, eel sauce, ponzu sauce. And I'm not sure what sauce this is. What is this? I'm pretty sure that's fresh wasabi. Let me see. Yeah, it's fresh wasabi. It's like real Oof. wasabi. That smells good though. Mm. And of course, we got some Coke. Yum. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, it spills. Oh, it spilled. Which one should we eat first? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Amen. Ooh, it's still hot. Yes. And they have like little seaweed and there's green onion in there, tofu. Oh my god. That's good. You just feel the hot soup going down into your stomach. Especially because we didn't eat anything yet. Mm-hmm. Mm. Their miso is so good, huh? Mm-hmm. I love their miso soup. And they had cute seating outside. So yeah, they did. If you guys want to go, yeah. Complimentary miso and edamame. Mm -hmm. Shall we go into... Oh, I want the... Roll first? Yeah. Okay, so sunset roll. I love this roll. It's so mm. good. I suck at chopsticks, but... Look at that. That looks fire. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wait, Let's I gotta dip, dip it into some... some soy sauce first. That's like the basic dipping sauce. Ginger. Me too. I freaking mm. love ginger. Ginger is like the kimchi to your sushi, I feel like. Basically. Right? It's a palate cleanser. Palate cleanser, yeah. Helps the sushi go down, you know? Okay. Which one? <gasps> Jalapeno popper? You just get it. Oh my god, I love this. Guys, look at the inside of that. Literally. Jalapeno. Mm. I like everything with spicy meal. Mm-mm-mm. Mmm. There's tuna inside. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's bomb. Wow. So good. Oh my god. I didn't try this before. Wow. I love it. I love the cream cheese. Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna remove the stick because it's attacking me. Mmm. Mmm. I love how they gave us some like mm. crunchy onion. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You know, they do party planning, so like if you bring a tray or if you bring any kind of platter for them to decorate, they'll do it. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. You just bring it and they'll do it for you. I mean they did it for us. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Mmm. 
Like, look at these little roses. How freaking cute are these, you guys? Like, oh my god. Oops. You're ruining it. And Leave this it. cucumber. Oh, that is really cute. So cute. Ooh, let's try some salmon. Salmon. I love salmon. We grew up eating a lot of salmon. Mm -hmm. I remember sashimi was always her favorite food growing up. So my parents used to always buy a sashimi for her birthday. Mm. Actually, when I was in my mom's stomach, she was pregnant. I, she she was said she was craving a lot of seafood, sashimi. Yeah. And usually you're not supposed to do that, but... Mm. Oh, the mouth in your mouth. <gasps> this has a little wasabi and something red on it. I think that's like a shisho... She, what is it called? Shisho leaf or something? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a shisho leaf, whatever. What's a shisho leaf? Just thing. Mm. The, oh, the little top part? Oh, oh no wonder. It tastes a little um leafy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah that's that's, that's why they put it on top of here. Mm. <laughs> I love sashimi, like, I love. I don't know if this is weird, but a lot of people prefer cooked fish over raw fish. I prefer I like raw fish, mm -hmm. yeah. It's definitely an acquired taste, but it's For way sure. better. It's probably because we grew up eating it too, mm -hmm. so we're already used to it. This looks like albacore, but I might be wrong. Yeah, this is albacore. Oh, let's dip it first. I remember their albacore being really good. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, the so albacore soft. is so good. So soft. That one was the softest. Mmm. <clears throat> you gotta dip this in here. I'm so glad we're eating sushi today, you guys. We've been talking about this. We finally saw a comment wanting us to eat sushi, and I was like, like yes! Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> it's like hot corn shrimp tempura. Mm hmm. And that's just spicy mayo, huh? It just tastes like spicy mayo to me. Yeah, it's still good. I want another sunset. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. This is so cute. They added little tomato, like grape tomatoes on cucumber slices. Looks so refreshing. Mm. Ooh, let's try this. What is this? Are you supposed to eat the lemon too? It looks scaly, but no. Let's try it. Mmm. Mm. Mm. This one's like cooked. Mmm. Mmm. It's like lightly cooked, mm -hmm. very lightly. Wow. I want to show you guys the inside. It almost tastes raw, but it almost tastes cooked. Yeah, it's, it's like so right confused. in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's so good though. It's really good. Mmm, that texture is on point. And it tastes lemony. Mm-hmm. Really lemony. Mm -hmm. And this time it's not because we sprinkled it. Nope. Nope. The egg. Ooh, tamago. Looks like a slice of cheese. Mm. A wedge of cheese, actually. <laughs> This what? is fish too? No way! I thought that was a garnet. Oh, you broke the rose. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. So I can't see because of this head. This... I know. <laughs> this dang head. Oh, this is salmon belly. I know this. Oh, oh my god, I love salmon belly. Oh my god. Salmon belly. Salmon belly. Mmm. 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 And the belly is always softer. It's fatty. Mm hmm There's a salmon belly and like toro, like tuna belly is so good. So if any of you guys are eating a meal while watching this, let us know what you're eating. Yeah, what are you guys eating? We're curious, you know? Yeah, we're basically eating together. Spicy mayo here, ponzu sauce here. Me too, I copied her. <laughs> mm. I honestly wish we could just give you one. Try it, so guys. good. <laughs> Oh, is this the one that Oma likes? I 
think so. I think this is the one our mom actually no, she likes the salmon. She likes salmon the most. Yeah. Oh, I miss mama. I know. Our parents are in Korea right now. Yeah, someone commented asking where our parents are. Yeah. yeah. They are living in Korea. But they've lived here for like 30 years? Longer. Yeah, longer than 30 years. But she really loves living in Korea. Like, she's mm -hmm. having a blast. Basically, what she does all the time is she walks around, she goes shopping, and then she starts evangelizing to her oh. people. All the time. Literally I grew up all the doing time. that with my mom, like walking around with my when mom we evangelizing. Kids, yeah. There was this one time, oh my gosh. I was really young, I think like seven, but I remember making a mental note that this was one of the funniest moments of my life. So my mom was evangelizing, we were at Chase Bank on La Brea, and then mom was like, oh, are you a Christian? And then the guy was like, he was so strong, like, oh my goodness, how did you know? And my mom was like, oh, you're Christian. And she was, he was like, yes, my name is Christian. How did you know? I think it's... <laughs> she I think it's only this picture. She was like, yeah, my name is Christian. How did you know? I bet that guy was like, who are you? Yeah, he was like, oh my gosh, you know? Oh my god, that was so funny. And she was like, no, 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 no. I'm talking about, you know, Jesus. Jesus, yes, to, yes. To. That was so funny. Oh, that looks funny. Mm. So good. Okay, we're gonna remove this guy because we can't really see the food if we're missing anything. Yeah, <laughs> where should I put him? Is this edible? I've always wondered that. <laughs> this is moo. I'm pretty sure it's edible. Oh, it's moo? Moo is radish, by the way. Right? It's edible. Yeah, it is. I love spicy meal. Mm. Guys, look at those wasabi bits. Ooh, so good. Mm. I want more of them. Mm. Mm, I wonder how it's with eel sauce. Mm. So good. I was looking worried that it was so much food, but I think we can finish it. Mm -hmm. No, we could finish it for sure. I'm not full yet. So when you eat sushi, it doesn't feel like you're eating that much. No, wait, it's hashimi actually, not sushi. Sushi has rice. It depends. If it's nigiri, it has the rice underneath. That gets you full. But if you're just getting the fish alone, it doesn't really fill you up that You easy. can eat as much as you want. Mm -hmm. But I noticed if you do eat sashimi only for a really long time, you can get sick of it. Like, mm. you get what I'm saying? It's lucky here. I don't, lucky. I don't know how to say it in English. I never do. I don't either. Like, you get sick of it. That's all I can say. Like, I'm pretty sure there should be a Korean person that can translate nuki. It's kind of like, no, people try to label nuki as greasy. It doesn't justify the it's word. It's not 100% accurate. You know, like when you eat something that's so cheesy, mm -hmm. like you want to kind of counter it with some hot sauce. You need some hot sauce in there, or else you get. Or else it just feels too, too creamy and too cheesy. Yeah. Or like, yeah. yeah. But you can use that in terms of guys too. Like if a guy is the Oh, yeah. like, oh. <laughs> if a guy is corny and cheesy. Forget it. <laughs> we really spent like a minute trying to figure it out. Yeah. I don't know. I give up. I don't either. Ooh, this is my favorite part. The end of the sushi roll where there's the oh, tail of the shrimp, tempura. The last bite of the roll, I wanna, yeah, put in some soy sauce. Soy sauce. Mm. This rock, paper, scissors for that one. And there's more here. Oh, really? Oh, oh no, but I want that one. That one's so good. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Okay. I'm gonna win, guys. I already saw it. And then I mentioned that guy by Bo.
<laughs> but this told me rock. <laughs> Wrong. Mm. This tiny little thing has so much flavor and texture, you guys. <laughs> so good. Oh, give it to me. Oh, <laughs> it's so lemony. Mm. Some wasabi on there too. While we went to go pick up this food earlier, we got bit like crazy. I don't know if they're mosquitoes or fire ants or something, but we were sitting down on the sidewalk. But the weird thing is, you guys, this was bumpy earlier and now it's smoothing out. Have you guys ever encountered those kind of bugs where they bite you? And you swear it's itchy, you see the bump, and like a cool minute later, it's flattened out, like disappearing. What kind of bug is that? That's why we're like- It's a weak bug. But the thing is, I didn't see anything. So this Thursday, I'm gonna bring my late boyfriend's niece over and we're gonna have sleepover. She's like five now. She's so adorable, guys. Yeah, she's so cute. She's such a joy. We're planning a VBS for her. You know how Corona's out there, so kids are not able to go to summer camp or whatnot. And yeah. I don't think she's ever experienced something like that, so... We're gonna make like movie night. I know Mulan just came out. Oh yeah, I think she's gonna wanna watch it. We have a pool, so we're gonna do like a little swimming for mm -hmm. her. We have a kiddie pool that's like literally two feet deep. Yeah, we have a small pool and a big pool. Is it one feet actually? I think it's one feet, huh? I don't know, but you drowned there when you were younger. I so. drowned in there when I was three, I remember. But it was like one or two feet at most. You might catch a glimpse of her on our story, so make sure you guys follow our Instagram. She makes me want to have my own kid, but I feel like I'm too young for that. I want kids. My parents had us when they were at a very old age. Very old. 40 and 48. Yeah, you guys might think it's just the two of us in the family. No, we have two more older sisters. Mm -hmm. And our age gap is massive. Like me and my oldest sister, we're 16 years apart. Actually, my sisters used to come pick me up in elementary school. And all my friends would be like, your mom is so young. And they'd be like, y'all, it's so pretty. Yeah, and I would be all like, oh, it's not my mom, it's my sister. <laughs> Whenever I was hanging out with Anya, I would be like, Anya, can we go to Grove? She'd be like, why Grove? Because all my friends hung out at Grove when we were younger. <laughs> I wanted to make sure they saw her. We always wanted to be like them and like be around them. Yeah, and that's why our parents were so old, but it was okay because our sisters kind of made up for it. Yeah. They took us out to like... To the new hip cool places. They would, take yeah. out. They would show us Disneyland. Korean barbecue, we never tried it until we went out with our sisters, mm -hmm. camping, Big Bear, like all of that we did yeah. with our sisters, not yeah. with our parents. So in a way, I do want to have kids early. There is a... Me too. That's the number one reason why I want to have kids early, but... Yeah. Because we know what it's like to have a parent that's much older. It's not bad, it's just, it's more tiring for them. So I feel bad. I felt bad. But one thing good about having parents that were a lot older, they were that much wiser. Okay, you guys, so we pretty much finished all the sushi, all the fish. Ooh. <laughs> we, th we thought it was gonna end. We just didn't finish the rock shrimp. But we just have a lid for it, so we can save it. Yeah, everything else is just garnish. Yeah. Mmm. Should I try it? It's so cute. You know, it's so cute. <laughs> so much detail. <laughs> That was so satisfying. <laughs> well, that was amazing, guys. Thank you so, so much for tuning in to this week's episode. If you liked it, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can see when we have our next video up. Ding, ding. If you haven't already, make sure you follow our TikTok account. TikTok. And our Instagram account. We hope you guys stay safe and we'll see you guys next episode. We'll see you guys then. Bye-bye. Oh, I could sleep like this. Missing someone